Cambridge, an internationally famed centre of learning and a beautiful medieval town. It's no surprise that so many international students choose to come here to learn English. There are over 20 language schools in Cambridge, with more than 15,000 students attending them through the course of one year. However, these students often suffer from culture shock and alienation. British Reserve makes us seem unfriendly, and many students don't make any friends outside their language school. And why did you choose Cambridge as a place to uh, Because uh, in Cambridge is a, a, a top of the world education city. My sister came here um, 10 years ago in the same school, yeah. and she liked very much. We live in the border with USA, yeah. but we think that English England is better. I went to London before. It was a very busy city, I think. So I chose a quiet place to study and full of British people. Have you got to know any British students? Uh, I don't remember. No. <laughs> I don't think so. No. No. Because when I go in a club, it's only international students, not English. No, actually, with British students, no. With the Spanish people, with Hungary people, with no foreign yeah, people, but yeah. no English. No, I don't have. I don't have British to do okay. friends. No, international students, but not no, English British. people. No, not British. Not really. No. Not, not British students, just foreigners. Uh, English, English, all the people, uh, uh, gentlemen, yeah, gentlemen. But young men, I don't know. Well, I have. One friend from from here, from England, but I think it's difficult to have uh, friends from England. Uh, they speak little. Mm, just in my school, just this. But uh, actually, I don't like too much English people. I w I want making a uh, British friends, but uh, British young people is very difficult for me. For example, uh, in night time. Uh, people are bumping me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What one thing would make your time here even better? The weather. The be better okay. weather. Uh, to make a friend. Meet, meet British people, meet British students. So what can be done to change international students' experience of Cambridge? Kairos Trust organises many events across the city where students can meet British people, make friends and practice their English in a safe environment. Yeah, we, we help to run four or five different international cafes each week uh, for different groups of people, mostly language students. And just in general, we take every opportunity to help students here in Cambridge, international students, to get to know people in the local community. Um, it's very easy to recommend the Kairos Trust um, because um, it is a very genuine organisation which offers genuine friendship. And I think the Kairos Trust does something really valuable in helping students to, um, to find friends, especially at, at times like Christmas or New Year is when they're used to being with family and suddenly they're here by themselves. And I myself have encountered many international students who have really benefited from um, um, sort of services the Kairos Trust provides. Um, I'm very impressed by the work that they've done and by the people who are involved. I think one highlight for me was um, just being with lots of people from different cultures all talking together and learning a lot from each other. And I in particular met a lot of Japanese students. Um, there's some extremely caring people who themselves have had experience of living overseas and are just over time have developed a real love and ability to relate to international students from all sorts of um, areas of the world. And when I went to Japan, I was able to go and visit some of the, the girls I'd got to know in their homes and meet their families, and they were able to reciprocate the, the friendship. And 
the hospitality, which is great. Uh, another thing that we've noticed is the, the number of students from Islamic backgrounds who come along. I'm not sure if we've got people here today or not, but uh, uh, who come and find in the international cafes that we run a place where they can feel comfortable. Many of them have come along and said, oh, we like it here. Because if we go to the bars where everybody is drinking and this and that, and we just don't feel at home, but we like coming along to where you are. And uh, we feel that we're really happy. I mean, we're a Christian organisation, obviously open to everybody, and we're thrilled when, when people from that sort of background find a real welcome here with us. So what do the students who attend here at the bar think of the activities that are run by the Kairos Trust? And what do you think about the bar? Uh, I think it's a nice place to, to meet uh, people and to know other cultures and uh, to improve your English practice, your, what you have learned in the school. I, I really like it. Oh, it's a lovely place. I think it's the best, my, one of the best places on campus. Uh, the welcome party with all the cake and the pancake night, of course. I think I, I really enjoy to see for first time the haggis, the Scottish dishes. Uh, the best thing is I can feel and enjoy a relationship with the local people. Uh, yeah, it's a good practice. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. It, it makes a, a great help to me. I think a lot uh, because where I met a lot of English people and also they invite me to other uh, activities and that's when I, I practice my English and it's because I, I must uh, talk in English with them. And have you made friends while you've been here? Definitely, yeah. Yes, I made a lot of friends here. I, I make a lot of friends like uh, Richard, Richard, Levi, Sean, and uh, a lot of friends here. Yeah. I think Tim, uh, Luke, and a lot of people I have met here. Yeah. Yeah. I think more, more than the school, I think they have been my, my really friends here in England. Mehmet Osgur was an international student at Cambridge. While there, he attended the barn and other activities run by the Kairos Trust. He is now studying in London. Uh, I've been to Cambridge in September 2004, and it was my first time to be abroad. And I was trying to uh, improve my English and trying to understand the British culture. Uh, I was going to uh, barn. Uh, I was trying to go there every week. Uh, I also spent some time in Andes during the summer. We were playing volleyball uh, in parks and space and I really liked it. Uh, but Cambridge was lovely uh, and it was good to be a student there. Here it's too crowded and there are many people who are in rush and it makes me more stressed I think. Uh, Cambridge was silent and in peace. I've been to Cambridge uh, last week and uh, the, the first place I've been to was the barn and I, I really like to be with them and there are a few things that I remember from Cambridge and one of the most important thing is the time in barn I think. The Kairos Trust has helped transform the experience of many international students in Cambridge and it is always looking for more ways to serve and help them. We're also thinking of trying to develop one or two new things if we can. Um, for example, if there's a student who comes along planning to go to university, hoping to do, let's say, biochemistry or something like that, I know loads of people within the university from professors downwards who'd be very happy to meet up maybe a postgraduate student who could just give this person an introduction to, uh, to their subject. The Trust knows there are still many students in Cambridge who don't know about its activities who struggle with life in Cambridge, and is absolutely committed to reaching them. We meet so many students who uh, maybe might come to us just in their last week or their last two weeks of their time in Cambridge, and they come along to some of the things we organise, and they say, why didn't anybody tell us about this before?
because in a place like this, they meet friendly people and they find a, a sense of community which is part of Cambridge life, British life, which is something that they've been looking for and just had never met up till that time.